Leukocytosis. Who here has heard of that word? A few of you. It's when the body raises its white blood cell count to several times its normal level, and it does so, for example, if you were to ingest poison. If you eat something that's poisonous, your body has an immune reaction, and it raises the white blood cell count as high as it can happen. It also happens in leukemia, when you have blood cancer. It doesn't sound like a good thing. And in the 20s, there was a, an MD named Paul Kukajov that did studies on leukocytosis, which has driven raw foods ever since then. And he allegedly took cooked foods. It wasn't clear what he did. He was so vague. And when he cooked the food, white blood cell count went up. When he ate the foods raw, there was no raise in the white blood cell count. There was no immune reaction. But in trying to duplicate his work, I've tried to duplicate his work many times over about 20 years, and I've been unable to duplicate his work with any vegetable food. The first time I tried the leukocytosis experiment, I ate three, well actually two and three quarters of these gigantic cookies. They were white sugar, white flour, hydrogenated oil, and some other crap. It was the most toxic vegan thing I could find that I would eat. And I took my live blood analysis microscope to the lab, looked at my blood, went up to the lab, had my blood taken. Ate the cookies. It was very, very fun. I didn't eat things like that at all. It was, it was fun to eat because it would taste good. I felt very simple. I, I could tell my heart rate was elevated. My blood pressure was elevated. Um, I felt tired. I felt sluggish. Clearly, the cookie was in my system. Live blood cell analysis in my van. Looked at my blood. My blood was clumped up like there was no tomorrow. It was just a big mass of blood cells stuck together. Um, there was bacteria all over the place because the white blood cell cells couldn't get where they were. I didn't see any more white blood cells, but I thought, well, maybe I can't see them because my blood's so clumped went and got my blood taken. And this is one of many experiments I've done like this. And my triglycerides were through the roof because there was a lot of fat in that cookie. My blood sugar was extremely high. My insulin was extremely high. But my white blood cells were exactly the same as the previous test. And I did this test over and over and over, trying to take foods that were genuinely not good for me and create leukocytosis. But I kept doing the experiments. And I involved some other people in the experiments. Some people who were willing to eat some things that I was not. And what I ended finding out is that the thing that causes leukocytosis is animal protein for human beings. Raw or cooked, it doesn't matter. Animal protein causes an immune reaction in human beings. Here's why. Here's a completely understandable reason why that causes leukocytosis. If anyone is either fortunate enough or unfortunate enough to have an accident where they to destroy their liver or the kidneys or some part of their body, they need, and they get an organ transplant operation, but there's a catch to that. People who get organ transplant operations have to take immunosuppressive drugs for the rest of their life. Because if you get someone else's organ, it's not you. And your body is a thousand percent dedicated to protect you from any foreign invader that ever comes into it. Bacteria, parasite, foreign protein, anything. It's vigilant. Until you die, it is protecting you. And it recognizes that new kidney, that new heart, that new liver as not you. And it's the protein signature that it recognizes as not you. And it will attack that organ and kill it and destroy it until you die, even if you die, because it recognizes it not you. When you eat an animal protein, just like a protein from someone else's kidney, your body recognizes it as not you, and it creates an immune reaction, and it attacks that protein, and it's immunosuppressive. I'm strongly against animal protein, especially if you have cancer. And if for some reason you think that I don't want to give up animal protein, I need I this, that, if you want to eat more animal protein in your life, I suggest that you give it up at least while you are fighting cancer so you can then resume it later on if you so choose to. I don't recommend it then, but at least give it up for a time. Now, the leukocytosis used to be blamed on cooked food, but it's actually animal protein that does it. And many a raw fooder, if they fail on raw foods, will start eating raw animal products. Well, it's all about raw, so I'll eat, I'll eat raw uh, chicken, I'll eat raw fish, I'll eat raw dairy, I'll eat raw goat products, all of which cause leukocytosis. So that's a very, very important thing to remember.